so far here we've used filters in somewhat subtle ways. And when I say somewhat subtle, I mean pretty subtle. Let's take it up a notch and let's use filters in a way that really draws a lot of attention to them as an effect, okay? Not just a tool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my base here. We've already got some filter action happening on it, but I'm gonna open up uh, another instance of Filter Freak here. And let's go ahead and just get some nice beefy, uh, nice beefy low pass filtering on it. I'm gonna push the resonance, let's work it. All right, that sounds good, let's make it more steep. All right, I'm already getting some ideas here. That resonance is really nice. I'm feeling it. Let's keep going. Let's push the modulation so that we get a nice bow, 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 bow. All right, it's not going far enough. That's because the timing is set too high. Let's pull it down, let's get it nice and snappy. I want it kind of going wow, wow, wow with every note. Ooh. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try and retain some more of the aggressive top end that we had on here, why not? So I'm gonna pull down the number of poles and we're gonna let a little bit more of that top through once, once it gets past the filter. A little too much resonance. Now let's maybe pull it and push this thing before the compressor. All right, that's pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool filter sound that might uh, do well with a little bit of uh, distortion or something like that. But there's a lot of cool stuff that we can do. Let's go over to uh, our drums here and see if there's anything fun we can do with that. Ooh, this is nice. I'm gonna grab my Filter Freak once again. And let's just do a simple LFO. This is just gonna modulate the cutoff frequency. And let's grab a bandpass. Why not? Pull the frequency down, turn the modulation up. Here we go, let's take a listen. And if you want it to be in rhythm, you can jump to rhythm. So, that's cool. I'm gonna do two bars. So as you can see, there's a lot of really fun stuff that you can do with filters. Uh, I hope some of this was even helpful for those of you who are mostly encountering filters in your synthesizers. Uh, there's just 
so much fun to be had. There are a lot of creative things you can do with these very simple devices uh, that go a really long way. And the controls are simple. If you know your controls, uh, you can take them really far.